Hey, what's up, YouTube? So today on stream, we had a little bit of an unfortunate incident. <clears throat> so I, at the start of stream, I wanted to make a new pair of boots because I wanted to get Cannot Be Frozen. And I did end up making the other pair of boots, and they're over here. This pair of boots is kind of interesting because it has, what's it called, socketed by level 20 Fortify. And if you were wondering, you could put Leap Slam on there. So I tried out using Leap Slam as a movement skill. So this pair of boots could give you Fortify for free if you're fine with using Leap Slam. Now Smoke Mine is probably still a faster playstyle, but Leap Slam is 25% more ES pretty much. A more effective health pool. So there's definitely merit in using this pair of boots. But I wanted to use this pair of boots though, right? But it had no enchant on it. And I wanted to try to get the pen if you haven't killed recently. And I noticed enchants are kind of rare. So I thought, oh, I was going to buy like one or two gift of the goddesses and I'll be done within like two or three runs. Turns out I ended up doing lab all day on stream for like over six hours. Now this character is actually extremely fast in lab, like really fast. It's like not quite as fast as like the lab runners, like those people do the labs in like two to three minutes, I think. But I got a four minute lab done and like most of the times I averaged around five minutes and I figured that out because I was doing five minute predictions and I would sometimes even get to Azaro uh, be in the last room before the prediction ended. So if you're able to do the lab in like four to five minutes then you could actually make an insane amount of money in lab and i feel like the money in lab is pretty consistent and i probably would just want to go over real fast like um the profit margin in lab and why people should run it if you are looking for a different money making method and you don't really mind doing lab and you're playing this build because lab is actually pretty good i think it's kind of fun to learn the layout and i think on some days labs are is probably really really profitable so I'm going to go over the gear overview, then I'm going to go talk about lab a little bit. And the pair of boots that I have currently is the exact same method as you craft the helm. I crafted the, wait, I crafted the boots yesterday on stream, so everyone knows how to make the pair of boots already. So yeah, so I was trying to get Cannot Be Frozen, and that's why I try to make a new pair. And then after I go over the lab, I'll probably show a clip of a full lab run. And then I'll also showcase like the 89 Awakener damage because the damage for single target got a lot better. And people in my stream even said it looked faster than Spark, which is always something good to compare to. So gear overview, right? So we have the exact same Nebulous, exact same Helm. The Amulet is still exactly the same, same Prism Guardian. I was able to buy this winter weave amulet. I think people are starting to corrupt them more now. So let's go take a look. So winter weave right now. Now this amulet, <clears throat> this ring, if you could buy an aura on it, is very important because it's pretty much like getting a call of the brotherhood with an aura on it, except you could probably get this really cheap. If someone actually makes it corrupted with an aura on it, but currently no one has hit an aura on it. Or someone got it and they sold it. Now before I started making this video, there's probably like only one or two corrupted winter weaves. But it's nice to see that there's a lot more of them. And I hope it is everyone here trying to help all the aura stackers out to try to get an aura on the ring. So I had to settle with discipline aura effect. So I have around like 4400, 4500 ES depending on what pairs of boots I'm wearing. This pair of boots I think brings me to 4.5k because of the int. Now, this Hands of the High Templar is the same. I will probably save eventually for a plus 6 LA weakness. It's like 70 exalts. Currently only at 30-ish. Probably a lot more if I sold my... What's it called? My double multi-lightning crit multi-jewels. And the Malagaros, I'm also using Discipline. I'm trying to stack more ES so I can try to level. We keep having some unfortunate mishaps where I just end up dying randomly and it's just not good. So hopefully with more ES, it'll be more uh, reliable. Now, for the gems and everything. Oh, the only thing I changed from my actual skill tree is the Watcher's Eye. So I swapped back to a Hatred Crit Watcher's Eye again with Immunity to Freeze and Cooldown Recovery of Skills while affected by Haste. So this means that Smoke Mine will pretty much always be up as fast as you can throw it. And it also means that... What do we have here that 
are oh we were able to recolor the shafts so the shafts we have is now three green two blue one red so this means we have more single targets so we put in cold pen instead of crit strikes which is what we were running last time so in order to make up for the critical strike loss we run the crit strike hatred so this is about the same as the crit strike gem and now we also have the cold pen link and this is how we do more damage to bosses because our damage is still mostly cold even with one call of the brotherhood so the extra pen helps a lot and you will be able to see later on when i do awakener 9 how much bad how much better and faster the kill is so overall most of the gear is mostly the same i see that when i went to go check this out right so this is like i never knew like how much like people could actually change the prices of items but yesterday when i looked at this cold skills multi of cold Wait, let me. So if you type in this, yeah, cold multi. So yesterday, these jewels were probably. I saw a few still at like 1x or like 50c. But now there's one at 1.5x and then the rest are at 4x. So I don't know. I think there's some people trying to price fix it or change the price. Notably, these people that have a lot of them. So the build is slowly getting more expensive. So if you're trying to do Winter Orb and you want double multi jewels, I'd advise to try to swap as soon as possible before everyone takes all of the jewels oh yeah one last thing in order to get all of the area of effect because you look at my rf right now my rf is absolutely big it almost looks like i'm playing a righteous fire build so in order to get all the area of effect i took these notes right here of unnatural instinct so the way unnatural instinct works is that it allocates all of the small passive bonuses and the allocated ones the give nothing so these ones right here the life and strength and regen notes give nothing but all of these small passive ones that are unallocated give something. So the reason why this jewel is good over here for Winter Orb is it gives us 45% area of effect, 12% cast speed from these nodes, and then 20% skill duration. So this jewel is absolutely crazy. I got an RMR on it and effective non-damaging ailments. I think this jewel ran me quite a bit. I think it's around like 15 exalts. Yeah, this thing gets more and more expensive by the day. I think there's also a card for it, a double corruption card or double implicit card. So that's probably a cheaper way to get it. But yeah, you get this AOE on the tree here and this AOE and look how big the RF is. It looks like I'm literally playing or stacking RF. But anyhow, that's pretty much the changes I made to the build. Overall, the build is a lot, lot faster and smoother to play than last last video. And it's mainly just due to the area of effect changes and the skill duration makes it a joy to play. So I'm going to go over and to talk about labs and how you can make some pretty consistent money and what you should do. So now we get over to lab. So lab is pretty profitable overall. So when you do lab, you want to run these gift to the goddesses. And this gives you, I think, like six enchants or something. So you have six tries at it. And each try you have three choices for the helm. So when you do lab, you kind of want to have this list opened up. You can see all of the pretty expensive enchants. So Berserk Effect, Skill Supported by Spell Slayer, General's Cry on Abyssus, Stormbrand on a Hubris, or what's it called? Or the Cyrus Helm, Arc Chains at Additional Time, probably on a Hubris. And this is actually a big jackpot one. So there's like big jackpot. Uh, what's it called lab enchant so for today for instance i hit an ice nova enchant at the end of my lab session and i sold it for eight exalts on a hubris and it was actually pretty crazy so if you go here you can see here the hubris you type in hubris the lab enchant uh item level 86 because that's what everyone tries to roll it at you can see <clears throat> minimum price is eight exalts and that's just absolutely insane and i sold it pretty easily and pretty fast so you have the ice nova one I think General's Cry on Abyssus is around 4 Exalt. And then you have a bunch of other ones that you will use. Now, oh yeah, there's also the Asenaf's Chant one, the Helm that gives like the Burning Arrow one. I sold this one for 5 Exalt, so you can see here. So you can use this site and you can like kind of cross-reference like which enchant. You can look it up, go on a trade site, type in the name of your, your item that you're doing on. So I use Asenaf's. So this is the Burning Arrow helm and i sold it for five exalts today and the helm only cost me like what's it called like 1.7 so that was like a three exalt profit pretty easily 
And yeah, I mean, this is just really good profit margins. So you can hit these jackpot things, but there's actually something that's even better or more consistent. So it's called using boots. So boots sky for, for instance, is one of the main ones. So you can have different boot enchants. So sky Forf is around 0.3 exalts. So it's like 60 chaos or 45 chaos, depending on when you buy it. Now, if you get a mana regeneration rate enchant on it here, so increase mana regeneration rate. If you cast a spell recently, you can see that it goes up to 1.5x. And I actually made like three or four pairs of these boots and I sold it immediately or relatively within the hour. So you can see that you're literally making one exalt on an enchant that is extremely common and you could easily see this like two or three times in a lab and you wouldn't be surprised. Now you could also do this with Omiyokens and this is a kind of a little markup too but I think Skyforth was the biggest one. So this one's like probably not as great. I actually have my own up for sale. But you can see that this applies to a lot of different other boots. So Aziri Step is a very common one, right? Aziri Step, you have... Aziri Step is like a 5 chaos item. And you can get this one, increase attack and cast speed. So is this what if you killed recently? Now this boot is around 61 chaos. So if you do that, that's already like... 50 chaos in profit or 55 chaos so, and then you can also buy a well rolled one so that it will sell a lot easier so that's just some ways to take advantage of the profit margin for boots and this boot is actually extremely good because a lot of times you don't get any good helmet chance but the boots you can save up and have quite a few so i have all of these ones with 70 percent mana regen and i have a ziri step i'm trying to sell with 16 percent attack and cast speed so this could be like the more consistent money maker and this will still be like good profit a little bit little bit by little bit but then you can reach like the bigger profit margins which is like if you get cyclone attack speed i only have cyclone damage here but abyssus is another very good helm to enchant it only costs like five chaos or so and some of the enchants go up to four exalts which is the general's cry and then you also have this one which is arcane cloak spends an additional 15 percent of current mana i saw this like three or four times and this enchant is around a 1x, so this helm is probably 10 chaos. So you can see that you can actually make a good amount of damage doing this. And of course, it's Bladefall Blade Blast enchants. Now, the important thing about this is that you kind of have to be kind of knowledgeable about which builds. So that's why you want to use like this um, general guideline. Another way to look for like good enchants is to just go on POE Ninja, go to the builds here. Look up like the main skills, right? So Cyclone, Ice Nova is obviously one of the best um, builds right now. So if you look at like one of the players who has a lot of DPS or something. Wait, they have to put pay Ice Nova. Oh yeah, there's also Ice Spear Enchant that's extremely expensive. So you can see here, someone who has some um, Ice Spear going on. See here, they're probably using this Ice Spear Fires an additional projectile. So you know that this enchant is probably going to be extremely, extremely expensive. So if you just go through the builds, look through like what enchants the best of the builds are using, then you can easily find out like what's the enchants that's going to be worth a lot. This one here is another Blade Blast, deals 40% increased damage. So all of these enchants will probably be worth a good amount. Burning Arrow, you can see that most of the Burning Arrow people are using this enchant, which is Burning Arrow has 24% increased debuff effect on a Blizzard Crown. And that's the other thing about lab is you have to pick up a bunch of bases to do. So before you start a big lab session, you'll probably want to get yourself some hubrises, some bone helmets for like the minion stuff. And then you probably want to get some sky Force, some omiyokens, some of these crown of the inward eyes, some abysses, and maybe an indigon or two. And of course, some hubrises and royal burgonets and lion pelts. And that should cover it all. It's a lot of like work to buy up all of these helmets but in the end i think it's actually probably one of the best profit making opportunities in the league if you optimize it and it's actually like relatively consistent because of the boots the problem is i don't know how oversaturated this could get if a lot of people do it like if a lot of people are selling like these boots because you can make a lot of these boots with like mana regen then it's gonna go down price pretty fast especially if people undercut one another but I think at this point, a lot of people do not like doing the lab. I think this build has the privilege of doing the lab because it's actually an extremely fast lab build. 
like it's a self chill build which is what a lot of lab runners run and the move speed is around 380 to 400% so it's extremely fast I think lab runners are like at 500 to 600% with Queen of the Forest but it's not too shabby at all so if you want to do some lab it's just a different alternate way of making some money I personally found it to be okay-ish it's kind of sad I didn't get the pen enchant but I'll try a little bit more tomorrow and if you do want to do lab it's probably very important to use the site it helps you out with knowing like the layout for the day and everything and you kind of want to try to wait for days where it's like a shorter room so you can actually get more chances at getting the lottos which is getting like the ice nova hubris and the other generals cry abysses or some burning arrow enchant but basically you also learn a meta of the game because like the helm enchants that are going to be worth money are because those builds are the most popular builds so berserk spell slayer generals cry Stormbrand, arc ice nova blade blast are all extremely popular builds and so is burning arrow and power siphon plus two is really strong too but basically lab is kind of fun it's like a little bit of gambling with some uh certain upside with the boots and i think you what someone should or everyone should give it a try if you play winter orb or a self chill build because it's actually pretty fast but yeah, I'm going to play some footage of the Awakener kill and I'm going to show a full lab run so you can see the play style and see if it's for you and I hope you enjoy it. Between CI versus Low Life. It's because uh, Low Life doesn't conclude um, RF. The game doesn't know what this... The, the game doesn't know what to think about Low Life or RF. They don't actually know if you're using it or not. So they just don't ever include it on. Yeah, mana belts are kind of hard, but 40x is such an insane payout that That's some smart crafting. Can I not have but a moment's respite? Where there's a golden key, there must be a gold. I have nothing more to give. Wait, so you are so you're saying you just buy a T1 life, T1 mana Stygian And then you just Redeemer exalt it I guess it's like at least 15x, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it seems pretty good. I and mean, that's just like a really smart money method that most people won't think of. Because you're blocking off like cannot roll attack and mana recovery. It also requires you to have knowledge of the build. That mana recovery rate is insane. That's why like it's not good to like pigeonhole yourself in the build. If you want to be a great crafter or just or to know more about the game in general. Or you could do what people do is like look it up on PoE Ninja of the top builds, see what they're using and copy it. Crafts of Exile is a thing about like popular mods. When the time comes, I mean, it's a smart method, what he does. I mean, it's pretty much guarantee money. Like, it doesn't matter if it sells for 40x or even 15x. Like, the actual. I mean, the base is pretty expensive, though, right? Of the Stygian base itself is like. 
3x or 4x, I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's not influence. Oh, and then you. Okay, so that's not too bad. But a lot of the decisions I saw on the thing was like double influence. I guess they're trying to get something else on it, maybe. Yeah, you. And then all you do is you craft on like flask thing, and then. That's also the thing, though. It depends on if there's another asshole doing it too, because as soon as one person does it, also it becomes a race to the bottom. Unless you guys are forming like a monopoly or duopoly or whatever you want to call it. Because as soon as one other person knows the method, or they do it a lot, the profit margins literally disappear until um, it becomes like close to whatever it is. The mana flash. Like that's what it was like in one of these leagues, like when we knew about the Tailwind Elusive Boot method. With reforged crit and prefixes and suffixes cannot be changed. There's someone else who knew about it, and then it just became a slow race to the bottom since the other person was stubborn and refused to set the price the same and just kept undercutting. But yeah, crafting is the same money. You literally just buy a base, throw an orb or two on it, or use your bench, and then wow pops like 10 exalts sometimes or more. Well, to finish that. I am alive. Fastest kill yet. <laughs> this is a more DPS and spark, yeah. Anyhow, I hope everyone saw how the lab look and how much better the single target is. Now I know a lot of people complain about the single target of Winter Orb. So there's some things, two things I really want to go over before I end. So main thing is always smite. Make sure the smite buff is up. And next thing is make sure if you want to maximize your single target and you're safe, you hold down the channeling. Because if you look at what Winter Orb says on the skill, it says that it has 100% more projectile frequency while channeling. So when you're holding down the skill, you're literally doing double damage. So that's as much of a that's as much damage as you could possibly do. So you have the pen, you smite, and then you hold down the channeling for bosses, and the bosses will melt just like how I melted Cyrus today. But anyhow, everyone, thanks for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. I stream every day on Twitch and I'm feel free to ask any questions about pop or any potential new builds you might want to try or any price checks. But anyhow, I'll see you there or I'll see you in the next video and good night. See someone just wanted to buy the Ziri Step, uh, easy 0.5 exalts.